Hello, everybody. There are some new documents tonight that are worth sharing with you guys. So I'm going to do just a really quick video update for you. First up are just media requests for the upcoming hearing that's on the 21st. The one in the morning again is closed off from anybody, but the one at 1 p.m. on this hearing coming up on the 26th is open to the public. So there are a couple of media requests that have come in. One is from JLR. And so basically they're going to do the exact same thing that they did before, which is just the camera pool, as you can see here. The other one is, let me see. News Nation. Okay. So, so far, News Nation and JLR have submitted media requests. Um, I'm sure KREM will, Court TV, all of those before we get to the hearing date. Now, coming up on the hearing, there's going to be a lot of stuff that's brought out. So, his attorney and the state of idaho agreed to a protective order on certain medical information and that is this right here i will go ahead and read this for you guys and then the order will say the same thing in order form okay so stipulation for protective order comes now the state of idaho by and through the Lataw county prosecuting attorney and the above named defendant by and through his undersigned attorney of record and hereby stipulate to the entry of a protective order regarding third party medical records contained in the following discovery folders AV000808 to AV00809. This stipulation limits access to direct review by defense counsel investigation investigators and retained experts and any further dissemination or use of the referenced medical records would be prohibited absent a specific court order or further stipulation of the parties the parties recognize that further dissemination or use may require redaction prior to their dissemination or use in all other respects, the provisions of the aforementioned prior orders shall remain in full force and effect. So Ann Taylor signed this and the senior deputy prosecuting attorney for Lataw County signed it, Ashley Jennings, and that was entered yesterday. And now here's the order that goes with it, protective order. Again, it says the exact same thing as the motion. So I don't need to read all of this, but it's just saying that, yes, there is a protective order in place as stipulated. What's interesting is now everybody and their dog is going to be debating what medical records these are for, right? We don't know whose medical records these are, and it's really not going to be any of our concern. Could be Brian's, could be any of the victims. We just don't know. So nobody assume anything we don't know and we're not going to know. I'm sure they're going to be discussed in the trial. We'll find out a lot more then, but for now, we just don't know. So that is it for this little quick update. You guys have a lovely evening. I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.